and welcome to Empty Talks with me, Monty McPhee. And me, Millie Emmett. And me, Tony Butcher. And me, Bex Young. Today, we're talking about feminism. That's a big I felt like you were going to carry on was, with that conversation. It was going to be a list, list but no one else had it for lips. All things lady. Independent women. Gotta love them. Gotta love women. We do. Alright, so where are we starting? I mean, we could talk possibly the best film ever made. Let's be honest. Probably one of the best films of 2019. Captain Marvel. Oh, an amazing movie. And we've all seen it. We went to see it on opening night. We all went to go see it together, which was mm-hmm. wild. Really cute, I think. Um, Got a little poster. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Some in my room, that is. So is mine. My friend did really like her poster as well. I'll oh, feature yeah. the poster on the um, YouTube video. Oh, yes. Amazing. Show it off. But... I think the representation of women in that film was just sick. It was amazing. Like, especially because it's the first Marvel movie to have a female lead, like a main, like the main character being female. And the way they did it was epic. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> just, mm. Mm. <laughs> what did you think about the female repre- representation, Monty? Monty. Yes, yeah, big question. I thought it was very, very good, very empowering. And uh, I'm impressed that Marvel pulled off such a good job after so many years of needing a female superstar. Yeah. Exactly oh, that. Yeah. People have been waiting for it. Everyone thought it was going to be the Black Widow movie first. They were yeah. like, oh, Black Widow's going to get her own solo. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I was like, I feel like they're not going to do it. And then they hit us with Captain Marvel. And I was like, it's Tell you what, be sick. Thanos better watch out. He better. I think she could Captain do it. Captain Marvel could fucking take him down on her own. Exactly. And based on the new Endgame trailer... Yeah, she's um, going to. She's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you noticed, though, like, going off of the Captain Marvel topic, in the trailer, mm-hmm. the suits that they're in, in the newest trailer, the suits that they're in, I already mentioned this to Millie, oh, the suits <laughs> that they're in, in, like, the, the white, red and, white and red ones, yeah. is the one that Captain America dies in in the comics. Oh well, <laughs> so he's dead. Basically. He's gonna he's gonna make room for Captain Britain. Yeah, this is the next big uh, Marvel superhero that Monty's wanting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm putting my my name forward, uh, Marvel. If you're listening, Listen, <laughs> as long as when you get famous, you don't forget where you came from and forget yeah. where you started. Aka yeah. okay, Empty Talks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can't mention us. This podcast right here. You need to feature, <laughs> us, need to feature us in the movie. Yeah, have it and playing me. in the background. Yeah, just be like, oh my god, who knew that Empty Talks was on? Wow. <laughs> okay. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good. And Bex wrote a review, didn't you? I did. So I did a little bit about... Um, so I, I just did like a little little thousand word brief review on it. Uh, sort of discussing... So I know, so brief. Discussing female representation in Marvel. So um, it's almost as if she hasn't got time for uh, uni work. Yeah, exactly that. Spend all my time not Actually, doing Actually, I don't think that work. made sense. Doing this. I retract that comment. <laughs> what did like you want to say? I meant it to sound like... I don't actually know now. <laughs> Bex... Nah, it doesn't matter. I can't remember. It doesn't work. Okay. It's almost as if she... Does it? That I spend all my all time doing, writing like, reviews. writing reviews and... Yeah, it's almost as if you don't go to uni. No. Or have I uni mean, work to do. Honest, who does? Who does? Okay. No one does. Yeah, okay. That was a that bad comment. Well, yeah, it? that was a yeah. good one. Right. <laughs> See, I'm getting bullied already, everybody. Hey, no. this is the start of something new here. You're going to witness my breakdown over these few empty talks. <laughs> it's so dramatic. It's slow. I'm really yeah, torn apart. Review. If you want to check it out, I'm sure that we'll be sharing the link somewhere. I oh, quite yeah. liked it, and uh, if you enjoyed it, I suggest give it a read. Yeah. I suggest that too. <laughs> good, good. Bex is a very good writer, so if there's anyone listening who's uh, looking for a future journalist or anything yeah. like that. Uh, Bex is your girl to go to. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, and guys. And you can read her other reviews on Nerve. Yeah, which is yeah. our little uni online magazine. Magazine. She has about I don't know how you describe 200 it. reviews, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, million exactly. likes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Many yeah. fans. Real deal. Everyone wants to be like Bex. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's true. It's true. Right. Back to female empowerment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The topic of today. Okay, so we've talked about a little bit about Captain Marvel, which came out on International Women's Day. Mm-hmm. The 8th of March, for yes. those who don't know. What yeah. a day that was. It was a Living wild a day. Yeah. We, Millie and I, also went to see a movie about a week or so before. 
mm-hmm. called On the Basis of Sex, which was another extremely empowering female movie. It's basically, just for anyone who doesn't know, the story of... Ruth Ginsburg. Yes. Oh. A living legend who we love, who's like a Supreme Court judge who basically brought like a lot of change for females in the American law system. Oh, okay. oh that's my bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, she brought a lot of... There, <laughs> Didn't want it to be too loud though. She brought in a lot of change in the American law system. So, how important do you guys think it is that a movie like that was put out there? And Millie, did you enjoy it? I loved it. The end bit, we were sobbing. Yeah. Because it was the we real wept. roof. I don't want to The know. real yeah. roof coming up the stairs. It's like the actor was walking up the Spoiler, stairs everybody, that's a spoiler. No, it's that, not. It's not real. It's that's not, not going to change anything. It's like... Oh, oh okay, plot. right. You know, what if someone didn't want to watch it? It's Shield Out. What is the someone actress's it. name? What okay. is the actress's um, name? It's Felicity Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felicity yeah. Jones. So she's just like me. walking up the steps. Monty, Being mate, shut up. All right, I'll shut up. Felicity Jones, she's walking up the steps. What building is it? Um, It's... The Chrysler. No, it's... No, it's not. I'm, I haven't seen the it's movie. It's the one where Abraham Lincoln sits outside, I swear. Oh, is it? It's the in Washington, one. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's I'd like the... Like the I'm assuming it's like the Supreme Court, court something. building of some kind. Some, yeah. I'd, so uneducated. Should I yeah. look it up? Yeah, you should probably yeah, Google that before you uh, sp- but Yeah, so the actress, she's walking up the stairs, and then, and then the, the camera goes up behind a pillar, mm-hmm. and then it's the actual Ruth Ginsburg, like, 87-year-old. Is Ruth. it? Yeah. Walking Bless up the her. stairs, the icon, and both of us were just like, oh. Mate, I saw, like, when I woke up this morning, I was Christ. going through my Instagram stories. I don't know why it was on someone's story, but there was a photo of her on someone's story. And they were just like, oh, my God, Ariana we love Grande her. put it on her story. Yeah. And I, mean, I was like, amazing. Mm-hmm. It's like, just what I do I want to yeah, see I this saw that. film. She's it's just come so out of the book as well. Like, honestly, when, when she, like, said to me, she was like, oh, do you want to go and see it? And I was like, I don't know, because like, like, I'm not huge on, like, politics and stuff like that. But then I was like, yeah, you know what, we might as well go and see it. We've got limits, like, let's go. And then mm-hmm. we, when we was in there, I was like, at first, it, like, it, was, it wasn't even slow, but like I was sort of like, where is it going? And yeah. then like it got into it and I was like, this is fucking amazing. Can I say, if any student listening, right, if you have a job, I would uh, pay for Limitless at Odin. Oh, I need to get it's, it. It's um, very beneficial. Yeah. It saves such, you a lot of money. Yeah, it's such a good investment. Why haven't you got it then? I don't have a job. He's, he's <laughs> advertising it, but he hasn't I even got I, it himself. I don't have a job. Oh, uh, me and Tony have So if there's it. anyone there who's uh, offering a job yeah, to a, a lonely man who <laughs> needs money, do hit me up. You might get one. <laughs> You've applied. I've applied, yeah. I applied for student ambassador at Bournemouth. You get to work with me. I would. That would be yeah. you know a life goal achieved. <laughs> tick box. <laughs> tick, boom. The, tick it off the box. Yeah. No, but I do want to go see this film. And obviously Ruth... Um, Ruth Gainsbourg is a lead. She is. Literally, and like the like, I feel like they picked the perfect person to play her. Like Felicity Jones killed that role. Yeah. So like, she was so mm-hmm. good in it. Like, I mean, I don't know what Ruth Gainsbourg looked like when she was that age, younger, but, but like, I like I was looking at when I saw them, like when it switched, like between yeah, it could have been her. Like, wow, I was it like, could have been her, like fifty years later. Yeah, it, been. it looks so good casting. Yeah. It was oh, it is! It literally is a United States Supreme Court bu- court building. Oh, okay. that's literally what it's called. Okay, that's great. So that, that's a really that good one, ending, though. And as well, I didn't know that the whole um, like Harvard thing was real. Like her boyfriend obviously got testicular cancer. Yeah, all of that. And stuff. then she went to his classes and stuff like that for him in the film. Listen, but she actually did that in, in real, real life. life. Yeah, I know that is so wild. She's like, a hard woman. Yeah. She is, and she's like, she's just like super determined. A genius. She is the epitome of. Girl power. Yeah, I would she definitely is. say so. Hundred percent. She's like a yeah. the queen living. of women. So, as a boy's <laughs> perspective, right? Right. How do you see International Women's Day? What a question. <laughs> um, how do I see? Like it? when you when you think, oh, it's International Women's Day. What goes through your head? I think it's great. We're celebrating the women of the past and what they've done to achieve freedom and. Uh, you know, individu- individuality from their male counterparts. Mm-hmm. But to be honest with you, I feel like um, women should be celebrated anyway, every day, just generally. Like, it shouldn't be made... You're not just saying, like, because there's three women. <laughs> no. We're not a threat to him, though. The other side of the table. I'm actually here sweating. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these guys have fists and everything all looking at me. Their eyes are glaring at me. No, but I do think... Um, Women should just be celebrated every day. Uh, 
one day to represent and thank the women of the past who did what they did is brilliant. But like Ruth Ginsburg. Yeah. 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 So here's, here's a question. <laughs> what do you think of feminists? Are you a feminist? Ooh. I'm all about equality. All about equality. Um I think men and women should be paid the same. Um, I don't think uh, it's fair that someone should be put down because uh, they have boobs, right? <laughs> like, uh, and, some men and because have boobs people, as well. yeah, yeah, some men do have boobs. And in fact, men who have boobs piss me off more than women who have boobs because <laughs> well, women point. have boobs anyway. <laughs> but if men have boobs, there's something wrong. And well. Yeah, well, that's for, that's for another conversation. That's, but <laughs> that's for the other, <laughs> yeah, another podcast. Um, what was I saying? Men who have boobs. <laughs> no, don't get no. Before that. that part, what was I saying? You were saying that people that you they don't think it's right that women are put down because they have boobs. Because they have boobs. That was what you. Said. Yeah, women shouldn't be put down uh, because they have boobs. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people say women shouldn't be paid the same because obviously they got they they have pregnancy and then they miss a lot of work. So therefore. Why would they be paid the same when they're not there to actually work? Well, that's a part of life, everybody. Getting pregnant is a part of life. How I else do you expect ha- to have I'd a... I'd be so happy if men were the people who got pregnant See, and had to squeeze is... it out of their little willy hole. Well, well you know, know. Females, him mentioning like, the whole pregnancy thing, there's like, I don't know where, there's like a like an area of like, like around a bunch of countries that they, one, they like hire people, mostly men, for like the way they look like you literally like have to, like you don't get like even like an interview if you don't like show a photo of your face in your like cv mm. heard hollis is like that two, just saying and two like they don't hire women because they see women as a liability because they get pregnant because mm. they're going to want kids in the future oh, and great. they assume that once they've had kids they're not going to want to work again they're just going to be stay-at-home wives yeah in the film the base of sex yeah and didn't also, they, they said something like that to her, didn't they? Yeah, it in was one like, of her interviews. Yeah, you're like expected to like stay home after you have a kid, and like, what happens when the kid goes to school? Got nothing to do with your life. Exactly that. Yeah. But here's a question, another question for you, Monty.